Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're going to be setting up OpenVPN so clients can VPN into our PFSense router. So if you guys are looking to learn something new today, let's get into it and have some fun. Before we do that, please like, subscribe, and share, and let's keep growing the channel. Thank you so much, and let's jump into it now. All right, folks, so here we are on the desktop. Let's go ahead and get logged into the firewall. And let me refresh this, make sure I'm all logged in, and I am. Okay. So first things first, we want to make sure we can go to VPN and we have a few different VPN uh, options here, IPsec, L2TP and OpenVPN. OpenVPN is what we're going to be using today. And we have server, client, this can be all configured different ways, but we're going to go ahead and use the wizard today. Okay. So in the wizard, we have select an authentication backend type. So we're going to use local user access the other ones you can use for ldap and radius is like if you have an active directory server or any kind of authenticated method but we're going to do local users and i do have a vpn server sitting in my office right here it's over there and i showed you that little box yesterday and i have a vpn server on that so what we're going to do is i want to start from completely from scratch i want to create a new ca so you guys can see I want to put underscore CA YouTube. Okay. So we can see the difference and everything should be the same here. This is all good. Palm beach infosec Pat. I'm in the U S I'm in Florida, whatever. I'm just going to keep it as is. Okay. Palm beach infosec Pat is the organization. And then the infosec Pat is the unit. All right. We're all good there. Let's go ahead and create this new CA. Okay, so for the server CA, we can go ahead, we have a whole bunch, but I want to do the same thing. I want to create a new CA, create a new one, and then I want to put cert underscore YouTube. Okay, so I know this is just for YouTube, and we can come down the same thing, and we can create a new certificate. Okay, now we can go through the network configuration. So endpoint configuration, we're going to use UDP on IPv4 only. You have multiple different settings here, but this is the protocol I'm going to use. The interface is going to be the WAN because typically the WAN is the outside interface that's coming in from your firewall, right? So that's what we're going to be using today. And then the port, the local port is 1194 by default. So we're good here. If you want to be fancy like mine over there is not 1194. So don't try to hack me. I have not my zip code either, so you can't do, I have something totally different, but it is it works for me, right? So that's the default port. And if we come down, we can see the cryptographic settings. We can leave all that stuff default today, right? If you just want to get your, your system up and running. So the local or the tunnel network, let's make this a little larger. See if I can make this a little larger for you guys. Yeah, that should be good. So the tunnel settings. So I'm going to make this, for an example, I'm going to make it 10. Dot, I'm going to put 30, for an example. I'm going to put 10.0.30.0 slash 24. The local IP address network that we want to route this traffic through is my local IP is 192.168.99. Whatever. Okay. Concurrent connections. I don't care. We can have as many as we want. And we should be all good here. And dynamic. Everything is good. I want to have, because I want my clients to get on the internet. So my DNS servers are going to be Google's DNS and Cloudflare. You can put as many as you want and go ahead and come down and just hit next. Okay. So this is super critical traffic from clients to server. We want to add a permit connection rule in our firewall. We'll add that and then we'll look at the firewall rules later. Just make sure you have both of those checked and hit next. And now we can go ahead and hit finished. Okay. So now what we need to do is add some users, right? So now let's go ahead and go to user manager. We don't have any users at the moment. So let's go ahead and add a new user. I want to name him Pat and Pat's going to have his fancy pantsy password. All right. So my full name is Pat Gorman and the expiration. That's fine. This is all good. If you want to go ahead and create new groups for like, like over there, I have a VPN users group. So if someone's trying to VPN in, I can add them, but this is just for demonstration purposes. 
So certificate, let's go ahead and create a new certificate and we'll name this underscore YouTube. Okay, because this is all for YouTube. -y. Okay, so this is gonna be the YouTube one because this is the one that we just created, right? I have multiple, just make sure you have whatever one you need and make sure it matches because if it doesn't match, you're gonna be SOL and it's not gonna work. Okay, so everything else looks good. Let's go ahead and hit save here. Now we have Pat here. Okay, cool. So now what we need to do is come back over to the VPN, open VPN, and now we have client export up here. So client export, we have the team, the server that we want to uh, access. We want the interface IP address for the host resolution. And if we come down, we should see my client certificate, pat underscore test YouTube, right? So now we can download multiple, but I normally download the inline configuration for most clients. So let's go ahead and click that. And we have this downloaded here. Let's go ahead and open that up. So now with this opened up, I don't know if we can make this a little larger. Give me one second. Let me go ahead and just make this display larger. Uh, do, 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 do. Okay. All right. So now let's go back in here. We can see this now. All right, cool. Whatever. All right. So now what we have here is a VPN client. So now what we can do is I want to do an IP config slash all and show you guys that. All right. Before we actually download this, you need to go get the VPN client. So you can actually just go to Google and just put open VPN, open VPN community download, right? And then you can download the, you can just download the, uh, the client right here for Windows for whatever. Okay. Make sure you have that. All right. This is mad big now, but whatever. All right. So now we have a, once you install that, you're going to have another interface right here for open VPN. We're not connected yet. So we don't see anything on that network, which we identified, I think it's 10.0.30. So now let's test it and make sure we can connect. So once you install the agent or the little client, we can see it down here in the bottom left and we can do import, import file. So we can import this file that we downloaded from our VPN server and then we can open it. It's imported. Yes, we want to replace it. It's imported successfully. Perfect. All right. Now the moment of truth is we can right click on here and connect. Now we get prompted with Pat and we have to put his fancy password and then we can hit OK, connect and fingers crossed, see if it connects. There we go. Bing bong. It actually connected. So now we can just go ahead and come back here, hit the up arrow and we can see now we are connected right here. So my IP address is one uh, ten dot zero dot three dot two. And then I'm able to route through the internet because we identified these DNS servers in our, uh, in our, um, config. So let's just come back here. I need to change this settings. Sorry. This is just too big. And I want to just going to go back to normal. Okay. Let's make this because this is already big enough. All right. So now we can go to client servers. We can see all the server configuration. We can see status. Let's see if we can do open VPN status and we can see Pat is connected. And if we want to say, get out of here, kiddo, we can kill the connection. Let's go ahead and kill this connection. And now want, 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 you just got terminated. So that concludes this video on how to set up open VPN. I know a lot of people are asking me how to set up VPN on the PF sense. So hopefully this is informative and it answers your question. And if you have any questions, leave it in the comments below. Please like, subscribe, and share. Don't forget to do that. And let's grow the channel. Thank you so much. And until next time, have a good one.